Good day viewers. I had a need for a compact power source and what the heck, why not put it in a casing, in an existing battery casing. In this case I utilized a Duracell casing. Here we got the Duracell Q cell, I'll call this Q, the letter Q from Qualls. And it's 36 volts. It works well. It gives me a portable power source. Let's do some tests. Excuse my messy workbench. Um, I'll just put a voltmeter on it. I got 37.4 volts. 37.5. So that's my Duracell 36 volt homemade monoblock battery. Here I have a 24 volt DC servo motor which I'll be connecting to the 36 volt source. It actually has a quite a good torque, I'm quite surprised. I'll put the other wire on there. Pull top is not too bad, considering the AA cells. I'm just doing a friction test. Top down to about 30 31 volts. Digging a hole in the insulation tape here. So, works quite nice, I'm quite pleased with that. We're doing a uh, reverse bias 10 volt capacitor, see how well that goes. No idea what will happen. Oh, it pulls it down to 12 volts. This is a good short, see what's currently going to pop through here. So you see the battery hasn't got that no, hasn't got that much power. She's quiet Jacob, I'm busy. See if it's gonna pop it or not, 13 volts. So it's not the best for popping batteries, that's for sure. 36 volt battery, 14 volts, and the capacitor is taking the current. It's holding it in. I've put it in the casing just in case. Be careful Jacob, we're not sure what's going to happen here. Oh, it popped! Oh, it did pop! Magic smoke! Oh, the battery's on that short, I'll just take the lead off. Ooh, magic smoke. We managed to pop a battery, uh, a capacitor. The battery is recovering 31, 32 volts. We had the magic smoke. I'm very pleased it worked for my 36 volts Duracell. Look at the mess. Magic. That's the, that's the casing. It's pretty hot too. And the battery recovery is back to 34 volts DC. Well, let's have a quick look how I made this uh, particular battery. Um, I had to pop the bottom out and in it are 24 AA cells so I made this the mono block up 24 Duracell AA cells soldered in bridge configuration and that gives me within the casing gives me a 36 volt supply. So the idea is having a nice compact uh, portable supply, and it is proven today that it can uh, pop capacitors as well. Thanks for watching. The postscript: the capacitor was a 10 volts, 1000 microfarad sealed capacitor.